Hi, how you doing? I don't know where I'm at, but I know where I will be. I'll be in the studio pretty soon. But I have this gentleman who's got a fantastic anime comic book, is it? Yes. Uh, your name, sir? My name is J.D. Calderon. And please explain the type of comic book to you. Um, I do a comic book called The Oswald Chronicles. Mm -hmm. It's based on the life and times of Oswald. He's a mouse. He's the only sentient mouse in his world. And he's basically just trying to find his way through life. And why is it he's the only one of his kind who's able to speak? Well, uh, well. Besides that, why animals? Why? Why? I mean, I see a lot of anime comic book right. people always do animals, never really human beings. Well, well, how did you get the character of the mouse? Um, at the time when I was writing it, I felt very isolated. I felt very alone at the time. I felt like a mouse. I felt like you know I was the only one, just alone, and I felt. That's why I created him. He's alone. He's the only one of his kind. And basically, that's the crux of where he came from. Boy, I feel like Ben. I feel like singing Michael Jackson. No, no, seriously. <laughs> no, no. no but, uh, besides that, what are his adventures like in the comic book? He goes to all kinds of crazy adventures. Um, right now, he's deal in, in online. Yes, yes, you, you yes, can, yes, you yes can, online. You, yeah, online. He, uh, the, the comic is covering, is covering uh, an adventure that he's having where... Uh, one set of characters are trying to bring back the old gods and they're trying to supplant you know the current our current mythology and catholicism uh -huh. and uh they call on oswald to try to help out with the situation he's a very powerful sorcerer and you know they're, they're trying to see if he can help out with it so he, basically that's just one of his adventures he has an entire life where he goes through a dream life where he becomes an emperor he has an entire life he has um a third life where he's resurrected and I mean it's just a crazy crazy adventure there, there's um, I think I've written about 20 short stories with him uh, which are prose and I have about four comics that I've also done and I'm working on a fifth one now, now let, let me ask you this now I always like to ask this question okay. now besides I'll, I'll save that question because this is a good one but uh, the artist for this comic book who is she uh, or he or she and how long she been in the business? Or not? Okay. Uh, as far as how long she's been in the business, I don't know. I've been working with her for about three years. Her name is Jade Gonzalez. She's actually Chilean. I met her online. Um, we basically struck up a conversation, and uh, she was interested, and we got together and we started working with one another. The uh, book is illustrated by uh, Liza Buenaventura. She's from the Philippines, and again, also I found her online, and you know. We, we got together and we, we started working on one another. That's how I find some of my dates online too, believe it or not. But no, boy, you really spread yourself out. Chile and the Philippines. Let me, let me tell you, and, they're all, and I only can work with women. That's why I work also with my wife. So, you know, <laughs> she just makes sure as long as I don't buy any plane tickets, I'm okay. <laughs> no, but so you write this stuff and do you give them the concept or do you read it to them, the concept, and then they draw and they say, okay, this is what I look for? No, I write out a full script and I send it to them and you know they break it down they send me the layouts I look at them I approve them and they send it back and they illustrate it boy you know what ladies and gentlemen now here's the big question of the day alright and now if you had to write me in one of your comic book characters mm -hmm. how would you write me in what type of character would you put me in as a, as a character I could see you as an elf I could definitely see you as an elf definitely as an elf um, Little, little streetwise, yeah. you know, savvy type of guy. You know, maybe not always doing the right thing, but maybe, you know, well, you know, <laughs> no, no, that's good, that's good. maybe not always doing the right thing, but trying to make his way through life. As long as I'm not always doing the wrong thing. As long as you have me with women, that, I mean, women, <laughs> uh, sexy elves or so forth. But any sexy animal, I don't care. I'm not, even though I'm not into bestiality, don't get me wrong, but in a comic book, <laughs> you never know. No, but really, how long have you been in the business doing this? I've been an independent publisher for about 18 years. 18 years? Yeah. And is, you've done other things besides this one, though. This, this oh, one's yeah. the biggest one. What other yeah. stuff have you done? Um, I'm still doing uh, Tall Tales, which is an action-adventure uh, fantasy comic I do with my wife. We've been doing that for about 18 years. We have about four volumes of that that we've done. Uh, we're still working on it. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a work in progress that we're probably going to be doing till the day we drop off. <laughs> good, good. Now, here, well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm going to look forward to that. You keep in contact with me, 
And what's your personal email address so that people can contact you just in case they want to know about some information about you. So give yourself your personal email, please. JDCONE at dreamweaverpress.com. You know what? I'm going to keep in contact with him because I want to see the type of elf he's going to make me. All right? So without further ado, let's go back to the studio.